Hey guys, back at you with another Dodge lineup video, this time for the Dodge Challenger. If you missed my Charger lineup video, make sure to check that one out, link in the top right corner. And this is going to be the exact same style of video, just for the Challenger instead. Dodge made waves by upgrading the Challenger Hellcat to have more power and different looks, and we're also going to see what they did to the rest of the lineup as well. I want to look at the full 2019 Challenger lineup and see what's changed and what new features there are from last year. I'm also going to look at the pricing for each model, which was recently released by Dodge. I already have done full videos on the Hellcat and Scat Pack, but I'm still going to include those in the video, as they're still part of the lineup, but I'm not going to go into as much detail as those videos where I spend like 5 minutes on each model. For this video we're going to start with the Hellcat, then go from the SXT and up from there. And if you do want to skip ahead to a certain model, the times are going to be in the descriptions, and at the end I'll do a short summary of all the changes and prices again. So here are all the announced models so far. We've got the SXT, GT, RT, RT Scat Pack, Hellcat, and Hellcat Red Eye. So that gives us a total of 6 models that we currently know about, and plus the 2 wide body models for the Hellcats. So last year there were 14 model variations, but many of these were additions to models. What I mean by this is that there were variations such as SXT and SXT Plus, or RT Shaker and RT Plus Shaker, which are relatively the same thing with extra features added on, but still technically classified as a different model according to Dodge. It does look like the SRT392 model is gone, as the only SRT models left will be Hellcats. There was also no mention of the TA models, so these may not be coming back either. Dodge could also fill the gaps with new models too, so we will have to wait and see, but for now there are 6 models. So as I said, first up is the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. There are 4 sub-models of the Hellcat, we've got the regular Hellcat, Hellcat Widebody, new Red Eye, and then Red Eye Widebody. So most noticeable is the redesign of the hood. All the 2019 Hellcats will feature a dual snorkel hood, and this is reminiscent of classic Mopars. The Red Eye is now the top model of the Charger lineup, and it has a starting price of $69,650. When you add on the gas guzzler tax and shipping charge, you're up to $72,695. Dodge has added 90 horsepower and 57 pound-feet of torque for this model, meaning that you're going to get an insane 797 horsepower and 707 pound-feet of torque. This translates to a 0-60 to 60 acceleration of 3.4 seconds, quarter mile time of 10.8 seconds, and top speed of 203 miles per hour. The Red Eye does have some distinctions to separate it from the regular Hellcat. You have a new Hellcat badge on the fenders where the eye of the cat will be red. There's also that emblem on the Red Eye engine under the hood. You also get a different speedometer with Red Eye logo splash screen, and the Red Eye logo is also on your key fob as well. So the Red Eye gets an upgraded 2.7 liter supercharger with 14.5 PSI of boost, dual fuel pumps, stronger rods, pistons, and valve train, and 18% more airflow. Adding on other options to your Red Eye, such as the 3.09 rear axle, painted black hood, summer performance tires, and wide body package, and you're up to almost $83,000 before taxes. Moving down to the normal Hellcat will cost you $58,650, which is around eleven dollars cheaper than the Red Eye, and almost $7,000 cheaper than in 2018. It also gets a power boost, up 10 horsepower to 717, and up 6 pound-feet of torque to 656. In all the Hellcats you have many standard features, such as adaptive damping suspension with 3 driving modes, Brembo brake system, electronic power steering, launch assist, line lock, SRT drive modes, and SRT performance pages. You also have the option to delete the rear seats as well. As I've said earlier, all Hellcats can be purchased with the wide body, which adds 3.5 inch fender flares, 305mm wide Pirelli P0 tires, and 20 by 11 inch Devil's Rim forged wheels. Here are all the performance numbers for all the four Hellcat versions. As you can see, the wide body vehicles are slightly faster than their non wide body counterparts. On the Hellcats, you can get either an 8 speed automatic or 6 speed manual, but the exception is that the red eye is automatic only. Now let's shift gears and go back down to the bottom of the lineup and work our way up from there. At the bottom we can find the V6s, both with the 8 speed automatics as their only transmission option. The V6 is still the 3.6 liter Pentastar, making 305 horsepower and 268 pound feet of torque. The SXT is the first model, priced at $27,295, which is the same price as last year. And you can get an all wheel drive SXT for an extra 3000 other than that, the SXT basically stays the exact same as last year. Next up is the GT, which carries a base price of $29,995, and the all-wheel drive version goes up three grand to $32,995. Last year, the GT was marketed as the all-wheel drive option for snowy climates, 
but now it can also be had in regular Wii Real Drive. And just like on the Charger, the GT and also the RT will be getting a Super Track Pack as standard. So for both models, this package will feature performance suspension, enhanced steering, 20 inch granite crystal painted wheels, performance hood and front splitter, performance cloth houndstooth seats, and paddle shifters on the steering wheel. New for 2019 on the GT is also an optional performance handling group package. So this will add Brembo 4 piston brake calipers front and back, 20 by 9 inch black noise wheels, and larger anti roll bar to help prevent understeer. There's no word on pricing for this performance handling group, but it's definitely a first time that we're seeing Brembo's available on a V6 model, and all the available options do sound really nice for the GT. The first V8 model is still the RT with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. Power output is 375 horsepower along with 410 pound feet of torque, and this model starts at 34,100, which is right around the same price as 2018. All V8 models up from here, including the RT, give you the option for either a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed auto. Another interesting note is that all the other V8 models require that you pay a gas guzzler tax, but that doesn't apply to the RT. Again, the RT has the same Super Track Pack as the GT standard, adding the same features that I've, as I've already said. Like the GT, there is also a performance handling group package, which adds upgraded springs, stabilizer bars, and Bilstein shock absorbers. There's also a new Performance Plus package, which gives your RT a limited slip differential and 20 by 9.5 inch forged wheels with 275 millimeter wide Pirelli P0 tires, but no pricing available for these options just yet. The middle V8 option is the RT Scat Pack, which I've also done a separate video on, but basically it looks like this model will replace all the current SRT and 392 models besides the Hellcats, so there could still be room for a 426 Hemi or a new release in the lineup as well, but we don't know if that will actually transpire. The Scat Pack has a 6.4 liter V8 with 485 horsepower and 475 pound feet of torque, which is the same as last year. The starting price did go down by a thousand bucks to 38,995. The Scat also has a six speed manual option, but if you do opt for that one, you'll have to pay a gas guzzler fee of a thousand dollars extra for it. The SRT hoods from 2015 to 2018 have now become the standard look on the Scat Packs. These are the aluminum hoods with a big air intake and dual extractors on the sides to get rid of heat from the engine compartment. And you can also add the wide body option to your scat pack as well, which gets the same features as a Hellcat wide body. And this package looks like it'll start at around $6,000. The scat pack also gets a ton of SRT features like air catcher headlights, launch control, launch assist, line lock, SRT drive modes, and SRT performance pages. Brembo brakes are standard with six piston front and four piston rear brakes. And as for performance, this car can run the quarter mile in only 12.1 seconds. To let you know what model this car is, Scat Pack B badges are on both fenders and the RT badge is on the right side of the front grille, while the Challenger Retro Cursive script is on the left. You can also find the Scat Pack B logo embroidered in the seats. There are also new materials used in the interior with dark dub plate and liquid titanium finishes. Moving on to the colors offered, there are 14 in total. 13 of them are brought back from last year, so we have Pitch Black, Maximum Steel, Granite Crystal, Destroyer Grey, Indigo Blue, B5 Blue, Plum Crazy, Octane Red, Tor Red, Go Mango, Yellow Jacket, F8 Green, and White Knuckle. Billet Silver is gone from 2018, and a new color, Triple Nickel, is available, but we don't know what that looks like yet. So these are basically the same colors as the Charger, but you cannot get the Charger in Yellow Jacket for 2019. Inside the Challenger, interior colors are black, black and caramel, black and ruby red, demonic red, and sepia. So that's all the information I have for you guys right now. I'll just try to summarize everything really quickly to wrap up. So we have the 3.6 liter V6s, SXT is base model, 27295 for rear wheel drive, and 3295 for all wheel drive. GT is the performance V6 model, 29995 for rear wheel drive, and 32995 for all wheel drive. The GT gets a Super Track Pack with performance suspension, enhanced steering, new wheels and seats, performance hood, and paddle shifters. And optional packages can add you Brembo brakes and wider wheels. The RT is very similar to the GT, but you do get the 5.7 liter V8. And there's also the Super Track Pack, an optional limited slip differential, and wider rims and tires. The RT Scat Pack is the only model to have the 6.4 liter V8 under the hood. And this gets many Hellcat features and also the same look as the 2015 to 2018 Hellcats just with Scat Pack B badging instead. 
Finally, we have the only SRT model, the Hellcat, with four variations, all with the new dual snorkel hood. The regular Hellcats add some power and demon features, and the Red Eye model adds a ton of power with even more demon features. So that's the end of the video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar needs, and I'll see you next video.